In this video, we'll show you how to disconnect your elastomeric pump chemotherapy bottle from your implanted port. Before you start, check your elastomeric pump to make sure the inner balloon is deflated and the outer cover is wrinkled. If they aren't, don't disconnect your pump. Your chemotherapy isn't done infusing. Call your healthcare provider. When you're ready to start, clean your hands. If you're using soap and water, wet your hands and apply soap. Rub them together well for at least 20 seconds, then rinse. Dry them with a paper towel and use that same towel to turn off the faucet. If you're using an alcohol-based hand sanitizer, be sure to cover all parts of your hands with it rubbing them together until they're dry. Once your hands are clean, set up your supplies on a clean, flat surface. Don't use your kitchen or bathroom counter. You'll need a 10 milliliter syringe pre-filled with normal saline, a pair of clean gloves, one or two alcohol pads, a small gauze pad, and a bandage, such as a Band-Aid. You'll also need a hard plastic container with a lid labeled chemotherapy. Make sure it's strong enough that needles can't poke through the sides. Don't use a plastic or paper bag. Once your supplies are ready, put on the gloves. Open the alcohol pad gauze pad, and bandage. Pick up the pre-filled syringe. Point the tip up and loosen, but don't remove the cap. Pull the plunger back slightly Then gently press it up until the air bubble is pushed out. Retighten the cap and set the syringe down. Gently remove the tape and flow restrictor from your skin. Then pinch the clamp closest to the elastomeric pump closed. You'll know it's properly closed when it pinches the clear tubing and you can't slide it up or down. Between the clamps, you'll see a needleless connector with a green disinfection cap. Remove the cap by twisting it to the left. Scrub the end of the needleless connector with the alcohol pad for 15 seconds. Then let it dry for 15 seconds. Connect the syringe to the needleless connector by pushing it in and turning it to the right. Once it's connected, gently press the plunger to push about one third of the saline from the syringe into the tubing. Then pause. Push the next third into the tubing and pause again. Then push the rest of the saline into the tubing. Pinch the second clamp closed. Now that you've flushed your implanted port, you're ready to remove the needle. Carefully peel off the dressing over your port. Using two fingers of your non-dominant hand, which is the hand you don't write with, 
gently push the needle safety hinged base against your port. Use your other hand to firmly pull the textured handle up until you feel a firm stop and the needle locks into the safety position. Press the gauze pad over the area where the needle was for three minutes. Then place the bandage over the area. You're now disconnected from your elastomeric pump. Place the needle with the pump still attached and the empty syringe into the hard plastic container. Close the lid tightly. Bring the container to your next visit so your chemotherapy nurse can dispose of it safely. For more information, visit www.mskcc.org PE and search elastomeric pump. If you have any questions, call your healthcare provider.